Easy Vector, in one of our videos, so I'm going also to illustrate it here and try to see how it has a relationship with other concepts that we have discussed about. So therefore, <coughs> we say that for a vector in a rectangular coordinate system that is having the x, y, and z, which is represented as i, j, and k, it's a unity vector. A unity vector implies that the x component is 1, so we call a unity vector, x component is 1, which is represented by i, and then the y component, let's put y component, which is represented by j, z component is represented by, okay, so therefore, <coughs> that, that's a three-dimensional representation of that specific vector. And we found out that uh, if we try to do a cross for i dot i, then this is going to give us uh, 1. Now we can be able to illustrate this using the, 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 the specific formula that we have given for uh, dot product, which is a dot b is equals the modulus of a or the magnitude of a magnitude of b the cosine of theta now given that our a plus b here is representing vectors that are moving in the extreme that or the just a similar vector which is i dot i this is going to give us the modulus of i the modulus of uh, i the cosine of theta so a vector that is moving in a, just a, which does, is, is just, does, does not have a, maybe we just give an illustration for that. Maybe this is the x, which is the i direction. This specific vector does not uh, maybe create an angle that is going to be between them. So therefore, this is going to be the cosine of uh, zero. I mean, theta is going to be zero degrees so therefore from that point <coughs> we're going to see that the cosine of zero is equals one so this being a unity factor so therefore the the, the the concept of a unity implies that the i and j i mean the, j, the, the I, I direction is just one so basically the modulus for one is one and then for one is one the cosine of zero is one so therefore this is going to give us a product of one which basically implies to our rule that we have already stated.